Connor, welcome to Brunton Park. Your head must be spinning. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I, I was surprised when uh, when I got the opportunity, but uh, I was grateful for it. And I just told told my agent just to get it done as quick as possible. Obviously, it didn't take much thinking about. No, not at all. No, Carlisle's obviously a, it's a big club for for where they are. And I think they should be should be higher up than where they are. So I hope I, hopefully I can come here and contribute to getting them getting them in a better place. Yeah. It has been a quick process, but what sort of things has the manager said to, to, to get your mind in, in where it needs to be? Uh, I think he just said, obviously, to develop myself as, as a player and a person, I need to go out and play play men's football. And obviously, there's no no better place to do it than, than in the English football leagues, you know. And it is League Two football, isn't it? It's something that's new for yourself. Having, I know you've done the loan spell before, but this is another challenge. Yeah, definitely another challenge, yeah, but uh, I'm just looking forward to it. Really excited to to get playing and hopefully it make a difference yeah and what about the borough staff Connor what have they said about what they want to see from you for the next six months uh, they've just told me to go and express myself really just just go play how, how I was playing in, in under 23s but make sure I, I work hard and uh, make sure I put the graft in yeah has it helped the fact that you've been able to get here and just get on with the training session this morning yeah definitely it, it's it's happened really quickly but I think I'm, I'm better for it because I uh, don't like to be kind of waiting about and stuff rather just get straight into it so yeah just happy, happy to get it done quickly, yeah. And meeting the lads, obviously, and training with the lads, that's part of the settling in process. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I've, I've spoken all the lads this morning and, and training them all, yeah. Good bunch of lads, yeah. Having had that loan spell second half of last season, coronavirus brought that to an end, but what did it mean to you to get out, kind of, to, particularly to get to a, a good level up in Scotland there? Yeah, it meant the world, obviously. I, I'd never played, like, a professional game before, so it was it was nice to, to go out there and do it, and especially uh, to get get a goal up there just just made it even better yeah is that something you'd spoken about prior to that move over at borough that you wanted to get out and, and if you could yeah, get on loan get get uh, it done yeah definitely it was uh I, I didn't think i was going in january because uh the manager said he wanted me to stay but they went and signed uh, another midfielder so he just gave me the opportunity to go yeah and i was obviously thankful for that and how did you find uh, united and scottish championship football uh, it, it was different yeah it was uh it was not like i expected but uh i definitely enjoyed it yeah although it, it did get cut short I, I enjoyed my time up there yeah a lot of lads like yourself who've done the under 23 thing they'll they'll come and say it is completely different is, is that a fact yeah definitely i mean uh, uh, 23 is good when you're younger to try and develop your life technically but it's a much more physical game in men's football and you need to kind of kind of adapt to that just by getting the experience and going going and doing it yeah and having got that three-year deal last summer it must be something that you want to do is get now stats and games under your belt yeah definitely i think i'm obviously 20 years old now so i need to be getting like a decent amount of games and obviously i'm at that age where i need to be playing men's football and a half season deal is something to get your teeth into isn't it yeah of course yeah just looking forward to, to getting there for Pacala fans who might not know Conor Malley, what type of player would you describe yourself as? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a midfielder, I'd definitely say so I was more attack minded, like wanting to get on the ball and kind of make things happen and go past people, so it's just a little uh, a brief explanation. Yeah. And a little bit of proof for that is that goal that you got for, uh, how did it feel when the ball hit the back of the net? Oh, I was buzzing, yeah. Uh, just running over the fans just meant everything yeah a lot of competition for, for places here Connor so it's not cut and dried I mean you, you've come in but not guaranteed that you'll get a starting place you'll have to work hard to get there yeah definitely I think that that's always something you have to kind of deal with in football is trying to take the shirts off those those who have it so that's that's definitely what I've come here to do challenge for a place and I'll try my best to, to get that yeah and just looking to your left it's not a bad pitch to come and play on is it it's not bad at all is it yeah it's dead it's dead good has it surprised you, Connor, the facilities when you come over here today and you see what it is that you come into? Uh, well, believe it or not, I've, I've been here before as, as an under 18. I played against Carlisle, but uh, oh yeah, it was, it was great facilities, yeah, especially for, for a League Two club, so yeah. It goes without saying, I think you've said it before, this is something you're looking forward to. Oh yeah, 100%. Just can't wait to, can't wait to put the shirt on and get out there playing.